here with the Sweet Pea Chef. Welcome back. Today, I wanna to show you a super easy energy ball recipe that is just high energy and it only takes five minutes to make. We're gonna be making chocolate peanut butter cookie dough energy bites that are vegan, dairy-free, clean eating, and are so, so yummy. Plus, they make perfect meal prep snacks for during the week. All right, so let's get started. Oh, before I forget, go and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can be a subscriber to this channel so you always get my new healthy recipe videos and all sorts of healthy eating inspiration. All right, so be honest, I'm betting you had a ton of cookie dough when you were growing up. You might even still have it now. It's so tasty and delicious, and the problem with it is that we all know it's unhealthy and probably unsafe to eat with raw eggs and the flour in there. That's what makes these cookie dough energy bites so exciting and satisfying and magical, maybe, <laughs> is because you get all of that cookie dough feel and taste and flavor, but without those unhealthy, unsafe ingredients. A super sneaky trick that I use to make these cookie dough bites is I actually use chickpeas and I mash them together and that replaces the flour and the eggs, which is really cool. Plus it adds in extra fiber and protein and nutrients and it is really, really easy to sneak in there because you don't even taste it. Our first step is to drain and rinse our chickpeas. So go ahead and pour them into a strainer and then we're gonna run some water over them and kind of wash them all off. Then we're going to drain them and place them onto a paper towel and pat them dry. They don't have to be perfectly dry, but we want to eliminate as much moisture as reasonably possible. Then we're gonna add our drained and patted dry chickpeas to a food processor. Then add some natural peanut butter, some vanilla extract, pure maple syrup, rolled oats. If you are gluten-free, you can easily swap that out for gluten-free rolled oats, ground cinnamon, sea salt, and a little bit of almond milk, or whatever milk you prefer. Now place the lid on your food processor and we're going to process this for a little bit until everything is nice and smooth and creamy. You may need to open it up and press everything down with a spatula to help it along once or twice. If when everything is nice and creamy and smooth, you check it and the texture is just a little bit too sticky, go ahead and reprocess after adding in a few more rolled oats. Or if it's super dry and it doesn't seem like it's gonna hold together, go ahead and add a little bit more almond milk to allow it to get a little bit more liquidy, and then reprocess. Now transfer our cookie dough mixture into a large mixing bowl, and this is when we get to add in our little extras into our cookie dough. I like to use dark chocolate morsels, and I choose those based off of the percentage of cacao that is in there. The higher the percentage, 70% or higher, the more health benefits you'll get from your dark chocolate and the less sugar you'll have in there. So those are a good choice. Other good choices to add in could be nuts or dried fruits, whatever you like in your cookies. Now add your chocolate chips into the cookie dough mixture and just press everything together and roll it around and get everything nice and mixed together. Our next step is to make this dough into our energy balls. And to do that, we need to start grabbing out some portions of it. I like to use a one and a half tablespoon ice cream scoop because it is just so easy to use and it easily portions out all of the mixture. That way I know that every one of my energy balls is the exact same amount of mixture. If you're interested in getting your own, I'll leave the link for mine below because they are awesome and they're pretty cheap and I use them all the time. So scoop about one and a half tablespoons of your mixture out and then we're going to use your hands and basically just form it into a ball. And then we're gonna repeat with the remaining ingredients. Usually I wind up with about 14 to 16 dough balls. Now I like to transfer these balls into the fridge for about 30 to 45 minutes to let them chill because they are so good when they're cold, you're not even gonna believe it. Plus the little chocolate gets really nice and ice cold when you bite into it, it is so good. Then once you have it all nicely chilled, just put a lid on the container and then you can store them in the fridge for up to two weeks. We love coming in and just grabbing like this nice sweet treat that's a snack that's also healthy. My kids love them even though they know there's chickpeas in them, it's so cool. And I hope you enjoy these dough bites as much as we do. So now you can make your cookie dough and you can eat all of it without any guilt or any fear of getting sick and you can give it to your kids, which is really cool for me because I am totally that mom that doesn't want my kids eating raw cookie dough. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you love this healthy snack and that you also love that you can have cookie dough anytime you want and it only takes five minutes to make, super awesome. Also, let me know in the comments below what kinds of healthy snacks you want me to make next or you can check out my healthy snacks 
playlist with all sorts of healthy snacks that you can eat anytime you want on a clean eating diet and just love your lifestyle. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.